Hello everyone, my name is Melanie and I am one of the owners at Orange Umbrella Co. When we talked about starting a YouTube channel, I was really debating what the first video should be. And since I'm not an on the camera type person, I decided to just get it over with and you know show my face so everybody can see me. I thought that a fun first video would be a walkthrough tour of our shop. Um, those are always my favorite to watch. So uh, it's Sunday morning. Uh, we are usually here, my husband and I are usually here six or seven days a week um, doing other odds and ends around the shop. So I figured this would be the best time to do it because I know some of the girls that work here would not be too thrilled with being on video. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to take you inside and show you around. Um, there are a couple things I'm not gonna show you just for proprietary reasons, things that we've worked really hard to learn and I don't really wanna give away all the secrets, but let's get started. This is the outside of our building. Um, it used to be an old EMT building. We are located in the heart of Union, Kentucky. Um, we've got the old post office. It was right there. And if you look really closely through those trees, you can see where the old firehouse was. So it's a pretty neat little area. It's a historical spot. Um, we really enjoy it here. But uh, there's Mr. Orange Umbrella in there. He's getting ready to run the Heidelberg press that I'll show you. So he's uh, setting up for that so we can die cut some of our Christmas tags that we'll be shipping off to Amazon next week. So I'll take you walk through here, show you that first. You wanna say hi? Hello. Hello. Okay, so over here is our Heidelberg windmill. Um, this is a vintage piece of equipment that we got that they're not really around anymore. They don't make them anymore. It's a really neat machine. We do such a large number that we do have to rely on some equipment, but it's kind of cool to have vintage pieces that kind of still give it more of that handmade feel to it. So this thing, um, a little testy. Luckily, my husband and my dad are awesome maintenance men, so they're able to keep it running and in tip-top shape. So. Uh, he's trying to find the right die for the shape right now, so that's our die cutting table where we can lay everything out and get everything situated. Over here is our vintage challenge paper cutter, so we can cut down a lot of cards and have uh, hundreds of sheets at a time as opposed to one or two on a manual cutter. So that's what that is. Um, this over here, old printer storage. Uh, recycling, we do recycle all our cardboard and all our paper, so we try not to leave a huge carbon footprint. Um, this is storage for overflow for Amazon's stock, so we keep a lot of it here, and every week we send out uh, about 700 to 1,000 pieces, so um, I'll show you more of that in just a little bit. I'm going to take you in here. This is our downstairs office area. Um, this is our shipping room. Um, Luann ships all of the orders that go to you so she and she also runs our inventory section and also die cuts all of our tags and she is an organizational organizational genius so that's her section where she ships all of her stuff this is our main printing room um this is one of the things i'm not going to talk too much about we love our press we worked really hard to source it and find the right one for us so um that's what that is over to the right are our foiling machine also something I'm not going to talk too, too much about. Um, this down here is our foil selection. We have 20 different colors that we offer. Um, so as we are swapping out colors on the foil machine, we pull from here. Uh, we do have overstock of that in the inventory room, which I'll show you next. Um, here is our kitchen and break room area. We don't really sit in the break room too often. We kind of just stand around and chit chat and hang out and have a good time throughout the day. This is where we store all of our wedding cards that we sell and also our planner stickers and that kind of thing in there. That's, we love that organizational system. Um, here's some overflow of labels, so close to the print room. So Ashley can pull all of that stuff as needed. All right, I'm take you in here. This is our inventory room. Uh, I told you Luann runs this section, so she's got shipping supplies and press pieces and here's all our label stock and dyno label printer labels bags for stickers that kind of thing just <laughs> i'm banned from buying any more post-it notes apparently i have a post-it note problem um and here is our 
cardstock selection, um, we did a lot of work sourcing the right cardstocks, uh, and we're really happy with what we have. Everything that we do tag-wise is printed on 80 pounds or heavier, so good solid cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to take you upstairs and show you the work area. So this is where all the printing and foiling happens, and once um, everything is foiled and cut, we or foiled and printed, we take it upstairs to be cut. So here's the main entrance of the building. And oh, there's Spaz. That's our shop cat. Orange umbrella just had to have an orange cat. Right, Spaz? Yeah, yeah? okay. Now she's gonna try to weave in between my legs and trip me. There's her little section. Uh, here's where employees clock in and out. I have a team of seven girls. Um, several of them work remotely. So Allison and Lainey, um, our customer service and design girls, they work remotely. I also have a girl named Lindsay who works here a couple days a week and then home a couple days a week. Um, and then the rest of them, we have Ashley, Luann, Beth, and one of our part-time temporary girls, Anna. They work here um, doing our production side of everything. So this is our main work area up here. This is Luann's desk. Um, she's helping run all of the planner sticker stuff now. Uh, she's doing all the inventory for that and helping cut. I actually stole a couple of the machines I'm gonna be cutting today. So that's not um, all of them, but that's where they're housed at. This is where all our tags are cut. We do have an AccuCut Grandmark cutter. Uh, we love it. It's a great, great thing. This is where 99% of our stuff is cut that is customized. Uh, those are all our dies above it, and that is um, quite a big collection. A lot of them that we've had made custom, so you can't get them from AccuCut, but um, we happen to have a die facility local in Cincinnati, and so we're really happy with them doing a lot of our custom work. So over here is our hole punch systems that we use to punch our tags. And back there in those little cases, those are going to be bound notebooks for a local um, crochet artist that we have. So we print and bind all of her notebooks and drop ship them to customers for her. So that's a pretty big gig. Um, our notebook machines, we do metal coil bound notebooks. And here's our selection of um, coils. Extra notebook paper. <laughs> See, we love these workbenches, they're the best. She has like endless amounts of scratching posts. Um, the notebook page guts, what we call uh, for the insides of the notebooks. Um, this is our printing station for our planner stickers. Our printer is up there. I'm not gonna talk too much about that. Um, we do have a couple more on order. Um, in here is <laughs> men's bathroom turn closet. This is where we keep a lot of the stuff that we print for Amazon Prime, once it is printed, it's put in cases and into inventory. And then as the girls have time, they'll come in here and pull out what they need to package and put together for Amazon. And there's Spaz making her appearance. I'm surprised she's being so friendly. This is our envelope collection. So all of the wedding cards and greeting cards that we make, you get a selection on your choice of envelopes. So we've got like every color under the sun. This in here is Ashley's office. This is where all of the FBA stuff is stored. FBA is uh, fulfilled by Amazon. So all the Amazon Prime stuff is where it's stored while once it's been made and while we wait for, for there to be a demand for it at Amazon. So she'll pull from here every week, whatever we need to replenish our stock at Amazon, she will pull from there and send in a shipment to them. So she runs a tight ship. She does an awesome job taking care of all of that inventory. Uh, and here, another storage closet. This is where we keep all of our bags and supplies that we need for packaging all of our Amazon stuff. Uh, lots of sticker boards. We package all of our stickers in these super, super heavy duty with boards and bags. So everything gets to our customers in tip top shape as long as the Postal Service handles it correctly. Okay, so finally I'm going to take you into my office. Right here, this is where I work about seven days a week. Um, here's the our little ghetto setup for the silhouettes that I've been running the last couple of days. And some sneak peek at some 
icon stickers that we'll be releasing next week. Oh, and it's payroll day. I have to submit payroll also. Um, over here is um, Anna and Lindsay's desk. They desk share. Lindsay's here on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and she runs the foilers and then um, brings her laptop in and works with us for a couple hours before she goes home. So uh, it's quiet in here some days, and other days when Lindsay's here, she keeps me entertained in here, so I'm not by myself. Uh, baskets of Christmas tags we're getting ready to send out next week and here's extra supplies that we need for office stuff time cards cords you know stamps that kind of thing um, behind here is our collection of envelopes and some overstock for Amazon and that's pretty much it oh I should show you this these are the artists, the girls that I have here. So over here is a picture that Allison from Flourishing Quirks, she's one of our customer service and design girls. She also owns her own business where she does hand lettered t-shirts and pieces like this, mugs, everything. So I'll link her information down below. And then up there, this is what Lainey drew for me when she did her interview with us last year. So it's become one of my favorite pieces. And there's also our certification of being trademarked, which is pretty exciting for a small business. It started outside of my home, inside my home, you know, a couple years ago, running out of the dining room. So anyway, I'm really glad you guys stopped by. I'm looking forward to doing more videos with you and can't wait to talk to you then. Thanks.